find these six trig function values for pi. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So to do this problem, all you need is some knowledge of the unit circle. So let's go ahead and graph that. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, and this will be our unit circle. And it's called the unit circle because it has radius 1. So this point here would be uh, 1 comma 0. This point here is um, 0 comma 1. This one here is negative 1, 0, right, because the radius is 1. And this one here would be uh, 0, negative 1. And this is 0, pi over 2. This is pi. And this piece here is 3 pi over 2. And you can also think of 0 as the angle 2 pi. Same thing. All right, we want the six trig function values for pi. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine comma sine. So if I pick a point on the circle, the x-coordinate is the cosine function, and the y-coordinate is the sine function. So over here, the x-coordinate is negative 1, and the y-coordinate is 0. So that means that the cosine of pi is going to be negative 1. And the sine of pi is going to be 0 because it's the y-coordinate. And then so from this, we can get the, the rest of them. So let's see. Let's do uh, secant. Secant of pi. Well, secant is 1 over cosine. I memorize it as 1 over the 1 that starts with the other letter. So it'll be 1 over negative 1, which is just negative 1. So secant of pi is equal to negative 1. So that would be... Um, the secant, and we have the sine. I'm going to go ahead and circle what we have so far. How about cosecant? So cosecant of pi, well, that's 1 over sine, so it's 1 over 0. Ah, oh, so that's undefined. So cosecant of pi would be undefined, right? You can't, you can't have 0 on the bottom. Uh, whenever that happens, uh, it's, it's undefined. How about tangent of pi? Tangent of pi, well, that's sine over cosine. So sine is 0, and cosine is negative 1, so it's 0 over negative 1, which is just 0. So the tangent of pi is equal to 0. And the very last one would be uh, cotangent. So cotangent of pi, well, that's just 1 over tangent, so 1 over 0. And as before, we cannot have 0 on the bottom, so that would also be undefined. That's how you would do it if you wanted to do them, you know, all by hand. If you wanted to, like, reason it and understand why uh, they are what they are, um, you could do it this way. Of course, if you have a calculator, most calculators uh, can do this uh, for you. I hope this video uh, has been helpful in some way. Good luck.